Honestly, midweek meals don't get much simpler than this. This is a slightly sweet, slightly spicy prawn stir fry. Slightly delicious. <laughs> Cook me dinner, Ben. This is a really speedy stir fry, and basically it takes pretty much as long as it takes to cook the rice. Ooh. So we've got a kettle boiled, and we're going to pour it into here. And then what we're going to do is flavour the water that we're going to cook our rice in. So two ways of doing that. One, lime. If you can literally just cut round, we need to keep all the segments intact later on, because we'll need that for yep. juice. We just want these bits. Lovely. And I'm going to just take some root ginger and just slice that. And with all the flavouring, we've got Thai jasmine rice, nice. which we're going to place in. It takes about nine or ten minutes. Lovely. So go in, as soon as it comes up to the boil, nine minutes. That gives us nine minutes to make the rest of the dish. Yeah, which actually there's not a huge amount going on. Okay. Big flavours, very little to do. So, we've got ourselves some prawns. These are just raw, fresh prawns, nice big ones. And all we're going to do to flavour them is add chilli sauce. Oh, nice. Sriracha. So a couple of tablespoons of that, because essentially that sauce is chilli, water, sugar, garlic and vinegar. One red onion, we're going to dice nice and fine. One red chilli without the seeds, just the flesh, and then we'll chop up some fresh coriander. And that is pretty much it. Now at home, you're going to have nine minutes while the rice is cooking to do all this, so you don't have to have two people to do it, because we've now got five minutes to kill. Well, that was the best way I could think to spend five minutes, Ben. Without a doubt. And next up, we're going to fry our prawns. So if you throw your sriracha prawns into the pan. Yep. It's already heated, just a dash of oil. Be careful, it's a chilli sauce. The first thing will happen, probably, is you'll get a sort of a, a nose full of chilli. Right. But basically, we want to fry those off. We scoop out all of the ginger and lime. Cool, and then if you can drain that into a sieve. And what yep. we want is the rice to come back with a dry pan, because we're going to use the pan next. One pan. So a nice rice. dry pan. And as soon as you're happy that rice is as drained as it possibly can be, then put that back into the dry pan. Because all of your onions going in, it's going yep. in raw, like a salsa, but the hot rice kind of takes the edge off it. Fresh Ooh. coriander going in. The chilli. Are you going to be alright with this? Because you don't like to heat that much. Ah. But I'm going to balance it out with sweetness. Ah. And this is pomegranate seeds. Now, these are the ones you can actually buy already pre popped. Okay. So that's the sweetness going in there. And then crispy garlic. And we keep this in the cupboard. Nice. I bought a bag about six months ago, and I still use it yeah. whenever I can because it's gone off by now, it right? never goes off. Right, it's great. it never goes off. It's fine, <laughs> Last few flavours a little drizzle of mirin and a little drizzle of soy, about a tablespoon of each. But the thing with this, and savoury, you don't even have to weigh it out or measure it out. No. It's just kind of a guessing game, really. All of the prawns with all the chilli sauce going in as well. And then with the kettle, can you just give a, a tiny dash of water into there? So I'm literally just going to quickly rinse it out. And we're going to use the same pan just to cook our pak choy. And then two pak choy heads. All I want you to do is just trim off the very, very bottom and then just cut once yep, right the way through the middle. Other than that, we'll leave them just like that so you get that beautiful presentation. Right. That's going to go into the pan, nice and hot. Splash of water, and we'll put a lid on it. Stir up our rice dish. We're going to serve them both up now. That's another pan, mate. Yeah, but it looks good, doesn't it? So what you're doing is taking it from one pan <laughs> and serving it in another pan. Yeah, welcome to the internet. <laughs> that is economical and efficient. There we go. The line that we took earlier on, if you can just squeeze that over. Yep. Lovely. Few fresh leaves of coriander. Oh. And then look at that, that's how long the pak choy takes to cook. Literally Lovely. two minutes. Any more than that, and it will begin to fall apart. You yeah. want a bit of crunch in the root, the soft leaves, and then we'll just serve that with a sprinkle of salt. So if you're looking for a midweek meal that's going to take no more than, what, 10 minutes? This is absolutely perfect. This is our prawn stir fry. Sorted. Really, it's delicious. You get the sweetness from the pomegranate, but you also get the kick from the chilli. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So the question is, we threw this together seriously quickly, mm. but what's the quickest meal you cook at home? Comment down below and tell us what it is, or why not upload it to Sorted Food? That is a great idea.
I'm just taking this pan with me. 